Hey my lovelies, this is Matulu and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bolognese sauce and cheesy spaghetti for your babies. I say babies but I mean children from all ages, okay? So here I've got half a cup of hemp seed oil, sorry grapeseed oil, my bad. These are the ingredients I'm going to be using. Alright, so we're going to blend everything nice, nice. We've got some habanero. We're going to blend that as well. Um, so you may have to do in increments. My blender is like two liters, so you're gonna have to just blend it in parts. All right. We've got some fresh coriander, chestnut mushrooms. I'm gonna blend everything because you know some of these children they don't like to taste the texture of vegetables in their mouth. So this is a wonderful way to get them to eat mushrooms because mushrooms are extremely beneficial to children for cognitive development, uh, so-called vitamin D all of that so it's the good stuff so here i'm just peeling some courgettes because they were not organic so i'm just removing the skins i'm going to blend that as well so with my bolognese i always like to pack as much vegetables now you don't have to use these vegetables you can use whatever you like all right i've got some sea salt so with me i like to season my food in layers so even though i've added some salt here you're going to see later on in the video that i will add some more so once the food cooks through that's when flavors develop so then you can make you know some adjustments so here i added some clove and and um onion powder you want to let this simmer on a medium heat for about half an hour now so after half an hour it should look something like this at this stage, you want to give it a taste, which I did, and I was like, nah, a bit more salt. So the salt I'm using here is actually smoked sea salt. Earlier in the video, it was just basic sea salt, but this one's smoked because I wanted to bring out the flavor some more. We've got some fresh dill. I'm going to be adding some more later on as well. You're going to see. Again, like I said, I like to season in layers. So as it's cooking, I'm tasting, I'm adjusting. So here you see the addition of some dried coriander because I had run out of the fresh. I'm going to add some date syrup. This is optional, you don't have to do that. That helps to just bring out the sweetness a bit more. Some more dill, like I said, I would add. So I'm going to leave it to simmer for a little bit and get on to our pasta. So here I've got some white spelt by Biona. We're gonna add some water to the salad master and then we'll add our spaghetti. So I'm using the white spelt. You can use Kamut. I think Kamut is better. If you can gain access to it, I advise and I thoroughly encourage you to work with Kamut instead of spelt. It tastes better and it feels better on the gut as well. So I just added some sea salt let that simmer for a bit so while that's cooking i'm going to prepare like the little cheesy sauce okay so we've got some hemp seeds now now later on in the video you see me add some brazil nuts because it wasn't as thick so i added some brazil nuts later on to bring the thickness to the sauce but also for flavor as well i pref i like the taste with both so he both hemp seeds i like the taste of both hemp seeds and brazil nut together or just brazil nuts if i was to choose any if i was to choose any nut to work with it's brazil nut i'm going for that first i love it the taste is just dope i love it especially when you're making like creamy cheesy sauces and things of that nature brazil nuts is just it's divine okay so i've blended it i know i've been yabbing on i hope that you was able to pay attention to both things so i've already made my sauce Pasta's done. I'm just gonna add it to it, stir it in nice, nice. Uh, at this stage, you might wanna drizzle some key lime juice as well and some sea salt. I didn't show that part for some reason. Don't know why. And I like this dish because the children are getting so much out of something that looks so simple. They love this. They really do. They love this. See, with a stew like this now, you can pair this with quinoa, you can pair it with some fonio, you can pair it with some mashed bloggos, you can pair it with some chips, some bloggo chips, that is. You can pair it with some squash. It's up to you how you want to go about it. Some wild rice. You do as you please. I trust that you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to learn more recipes like this, head to matulu.co.uk to get our cookbook, Cook with Matulu.